five hours, we finally have a response on what they're going to do with uh, the big, massive offer screw up update on the offer issue today an offer went out live that erroneously contained more gear fragments than intended the offer was quickly removed and the game was put into maintenance mode after a few minutes tomorrow morning the team will be reinstating the offer for anybody who wants to purchase it that already didn't get it the chance we will publish measures seeing around this tomorrow morning to clarify the details as some players may have gameplay interrupted with the maintenance compensation will be sent to all players for the inconvenience appreciate your patience as we work to resolve the issue so what it was is there was an offer in the store uh today for 20 us dollars that awarded that's right a boatload of armory 14s and 15s uh basically 20,000 armory 14s and 20,000 armory 15s and so they're going to reinstate this offer uh for anybody to buy it tomorrow so i think this is a good thing i think this is the only way uh to make the situation right uh, the one group of players that this hurts the most will be the people that are 100% free to play that do not spend any money on offers. So uh, they are not going to be able to take advantage of this if they don't, unless they want to spend $20. Now, there's still going to be bottlenecks with catalysts, SBCs, origin pieces, but this will uh, eliminate the 14s and the 15s, the mini unique issue. Uh, for the foreseeable future. I'm not worried about there being duplicate offers. This this $20 offer is more than enough forever as far as I'm concerned. Uh, hopefully it eliminates that bottleneck for that gear piece indefinitely as far as I can see. So uh, I think this was probably the best possible solution. I think when things go like sideways, uh, probably the, the smartest thing for them to do was just to leave the offer up rather than uh, you know do what they've been doing. Also... Uh, question on Reddit. Hey, hey, Cerebra, how is that QA treating you? Remember Goldgate? Remember the first gear gate when you accidentally sent out 20,000 catalyst parts? After each time you swore that you are going to get new processes in place to make sure things like this didn't happen anymore? How are those processes going? At this point, I only see one of two scenarios that are possible. The, sco the employees at Scopely are so incompetent that even with multiple QA checks, you can't catch the simplest mistakes. Or they don't care about QA since the costs are cost overhead. So you'd rather fix the bugs after uh, they come out and act, never actually intend to fix anything. Now, I pulled chat and uh, it was split between incompetence and both. Uh, a lot of people think it's actually both. Uh, but incompetence is probably the number one thing. It's, it's just hard for me to understand how this went through any kind of QA. Either the person was rushed. Uh, they don't care. They're doing it on purpose, like there's someone in Scopely that's sabotaging, or they don't play the game. What if the person just doesn't play the game, doesn't understand how damaging this is to the the, the economy? I, I've got a whole bunch of theories on uh, maybe why that would happen. Uh, you know, I, maybe it has to do with labor shortages, and they have to retain as many employees as possible, and they can't let employees go because there's a massive later labor shortage in the industry. Uh, it could be also that they can't let incompetent employees go because uh, they're at this point grossly underpaid. And so by replacing them with new employees, they're going to have to pay them more. I, I, I wonder. I, I don't really understand why this is continuously a thing. Uh, I mean, if we look at this issue right here, coupled with the red stars from the day before, these are not bugs. This is just simply oversight. This is lack of proofreading this is a complete lack of attention to detail also another bug and i haven't been able to person personally verify this but i saw this post twice so i believe this is true beware of dark hunters on defense in cosmic crucible faced at what should be in the cake walk of a win but elsa bloodstone's new costume was purchased at the same uh at the same tailor as president loki and the whole match t-posed and i had to force quit the app clock was running but couldn't even X the match. So uh, I, I believe that, that right now uh, the new black and white Elsa Bloodstone costume, which is from the new Disney Plus TV show, uh, is causing the game to freeze. So be on the lookout for that. So glad Pocket Dimension is back. And this is a rather unusual post on Reddit because it's very positive and this is like the... The title say, Glad Pock Dimension is back. Personally think it's one of the better additions they added. Uh, got to give Scopely credit where it's due when they bring back sooner than 
they did the last time. It's a big win and hope that it keeps going in the future. And my question is, do you enjoy the gameplay of Pocket Dimension or do you enjoy the rewards? And so I pulled my chat and 74% of the players said that it's just the rewards. 24% said both and only 2% said the gameplay because uh, people will play Tower and love Tower even though it gives bad rewards. And so I've asked the question is, what if the rewards were swapped? You know, what if the rewards on Pocket Dimension were actually in Tower and vice versa? How would the community feel about the game modes in general? Because I know there are a lot of players out there that are willing to play Tower with very terrible rewards. And for me, I opted out of playing Tower other than Milestones last time around because the rewards were just so terrible. And, uh, you know, Pocket Dimension, I just played it on auto. Uh, which not everybody can do, I understand that, but there was no real gameplay experience for me inside of Pocket Dimension, and I'm just glad to get the rewards. All right, let's move on to offer review, and we've only got a few offers to talk about here. Daily Energy Pack. Uh, this is an okay offer. We got $3 for 400 energy. The 400 energy will also help towards uh, the event is running right now. I don't know, something offensive, special offensive. Uh, I, I don't remember what the name of the event is, but there is an event that is running right now. Let's see. Yes, yeah, Special Offensive. So that is based off of uh, raid credits and campaign energy. So that will help there. And that is an okay offer. Nothing special, but it is what it is. Then we've also got a Gambit offer right here. And I, I'm not going to be buying this, but I just wanted to point this out that they've typically tried selling Gambit 50 character shards for $35. So I believe this is the lowest price that I've seen Gambit. 50 character shards for, for 25 US dollars. Uh, again, Wong. Uh, Wong is still in the store. Wong is a member of Dark Hold. He's a part of the Apocalypse team. Uh, he's part of a Apocalypse team uh, there with Morgan Le Fay, one of the horsemen. And uh, he recently was added to the hard node as so was uh, Madeline Pryor. He also, his node, you can do like 240 energy. I know I seem to only get like four or two other people are telling me that they're getting 10, which is nice. But anyways, uh, I, I have him already at uh, six stars. So I, I kind of like characters. Uh, I'm just going to farm the nodes. Uh, but if I wanted to speed up the process and get him up to seven stars faster, I could spend the $5 for 50 character shards. Very reasonable. Uh, I did buy this on Cersei. Cersei is going to be added to the hard villain nodes. Uh, but that has uh, not been announced when that is going to be happening. So uh, she is the, the weaker half, in my opinion, of the Eternals team. <laughs> the two-man team, right? Uh, Icarus is nowhere to be found. He's in boosted drop rates and premium orbs at a 2% drop rate. And she is someday going to be added into uh, the hard villain node. And she will be farmable there. Unknown when that's going to happen. So I do like this offer very much. I think she's an amazing character. Um, Morbius, not so much an amazing character. He's very, he was useful in one of the scourges. He, and he was also a war offense team and he's relatively hard to get, I guess, for some people because he is in the blitz, uh, orb only. He's not in the blitz store. He's just in the blitz orb. So there you go. You got 50 character shard, um, uh, of, uh, 50, 50 character shards for $5. Then we've got, uh, if you unlock black Panther, one mil. Uh, we've got uh, two gold offers that I like. There's one for thirty dollars, which gets three two point three point two five million and twenty four thousand. And then there's also the ten dollar offer, which gives one million gold and four gold orbs. I like that. And then the other offer that goes along with it is going to be uh, the training materials offer. There's two of them. There's one for ten dollars, and then there's one for thirty U.S. dollars. And those are just, in my opinion, if you're a purchaser of gold or training material orbs. Uh, that's going to be the most efficient way to do it is one of those offers when you unlock the characters. Still no word on how the Nakia event is going to be played out. Uh, the One of the blog posts was updated to say that the heroic mode on the event campaign for Nakia was going to require Wakandans for the heroic one. Then they lined it out and they put War Dogs. So we're, we're, we're not sure how that's going to play out. Hopefully we're going to get more information soon in a blog post to explain uh, what that all means. Also, uh, I, I think we're gonna get, uh, according to the data mines, we're going to get uh, Black Panther 1 mil, a month long event or some one of those longer type events 
here in the next week. Still no information on where Mr. Negative and Mr. Negative was supposed to get some sort of web event. And I don't know what that is. We have no, uh, no word on that as well. All right. Let me know what you think about this right here. I, I think a lot of people are one happy to keep the orbs that they already purchased Two, people that are happy that they didn't miss out on an offer. And then three, uh, free to play players that don't buy offers are probably saying, wow, that's kind of terrible. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.